Greetings to my YouTube subscribers. It's been a while. Figured I'd give you a little update. I checked my YouTube. Last time I uploaded a video was December 2016. I hadn't realized it's been almost three years. Lately I've seen a lot of new subscribers, comments, questions, and probably people wondering if they were ever going to see any videos again course it's easy to tell you I've been busy of uh, 2017 I put the shovel front on the 10b and as you can see also I only have two machines now the 37 10b was sold in 2017 it was not running and I figured I would probably never find the time to get it running so I sold it so I could concentrate my efforts on my other two machines. I played around with the 10B in 2017 a bit, as well as the 22B with the drag line. Uh, lots of little problems. My next video I think I'm going to do, hopefully shortly, I'm going to detail all the issues I've had with this 10B, all the things I've had to repair. Uh, the very last one that sort of put me off a bit was trying to get the dipper release mechanism on this to work properly. It, it wouldn't release when I wanted it to dump. It would dump when I didn't want it to dump. I got a little frustrated. Uh, didn't really put the, the right amount of effort into trying to get it fixed until here just recently. So 2018, neither one of these machines uh, left the property here by the house and neither one of them did any digging. But we're getting ready to make a little trip. The 10B is going to go across to the woods over there uh, where there's some dirt to do some digging. And the 22B is going to be making a bit longer of a trip where we'll go all the way up around by the barns over there and to the north side of the woods where there's a nice opening where there's enough room to dig with the drag line. Uh, I did some painting on the 22B, both machines. Uh, were oxidized really bad the 22b was painted in 2011 so it's been eight years i didn't do a real good job of painting it but uh i got some fresh paint on it you can see there's still some tape on there where i taped it off for the stripes uh, the 10b was painted in 2012 and it's due you can see it's oxidized pretty heavily it's almost down to a beige and a pink I never did paint the, the shovel front on it I'll probably get to that hopefully sometime next year the paint that I used the yellow that I used on it was uh, the paint from 2012 so the paint wasn't real good it didn't come out up close very good on the 22B uh, I mixed it as best I could but there were still lots of little pieces in there that wouldn't break up that when they did break up with the paintbrush was leaving little green streaks all over the machine a lot of the paint on it dried with a flat finish i had to do a lot of repainting on it um, but it's covered and it's protected and it looks a lot better so um, my plans are on my next video will be to cover uh, this 10B and everything that was wrong with it when I got it. Some of the things I had to do uh, in repairing it. Um, in case people are curious, people ask me all the time about, you know, owning a ca cable excavator, you know, interested in purchasing one. Somebody asked me recently, you know, what kind of things should I look for so I can tell you some of the things that were uh, wrong with this hopefully I'll get some digging videos part of the problem is I do not have uh, anybody to do any video for me the last one I did with this GoPro uh, was on this 10B with the backhoe front on it and it was a static shot and I, I really wasn't happy with it I posted it anyways but it's one of my least favorite videos this GoPro camera uh, puts out a better quality video than the little Sony cam that I was working 
The big disadvantage to it though is that the GoPro does not have a viewfinder on it. So guys, I'm just holding this thing up and I'm, I'm hoping we're getting good shots here, but I can't really tell. So for those of you that have subscribed and stayed subscribed, uh, hopefully you'll see uh, maybe a video too coming up. I know it's a lot of people are unsubscribing. Uh, that doesn't really matter to me. I get it. You know, they probably figured uh, this JAC guy, he's maybe he's never going to post another video. Uh, it's always my intent to do so. Every year, people, rec uh, you know, inquire about it. And I say, oh yeah, I'm planning on doing something. And a uh, lot of other things to do than just play around with these machines. And all the work that I do on these, uh, at least about 95% of it is done by myself. And it's done outdoors. And, uh, you know, I have limited time available to work on them. Uh, one of the things I recently did on these two machines was refurbish both of the batteries. I, of course, watch videos on how to refurbish batteries. I know the 8-volt battery that's in the 10B here seems to have taken pretty well. Uh, I keep the battery disconnected every time I reconnect the battery. Fires right up. Uh, I'm not sure about the big 12 volt battery that is in the 22B if that battery uh, is going to be holding adequate voltage or not. I've only tried starting it once right after I put it back in and I still had to jump it. It was only holding around 12 volts but uh, it might just need some additional charge. And I also just wanted to say if anybody knows anybody who's interested in a 22B um, not that I want to sell this machine, but just due to the fact that I, I don't really have as much time uh, for these machines as I would like. Uh, you know, if someone was interested in this machine, the asking price on it would be $11,000, and that's the bottom price. Uh, at that price, I can live with the amount of money that I've lost, that I've, I've put into it. Uh, any price less than that, I couldn't live with it, but it's a beautiful machine. It's in fantastic shape. It was completely rebuilt in the year 2000. It was built from the parts of two machines. Literally has a couple tons of spare parts to go with it. It's got uh, two clamshell buckets to go with it. It runs and operates almost perfectly. Uh, it's a great piece. If it doesn't sell, if nobody were ever interested in it, then I just keep playing with it and uh, and that's the end of it. Uh, the other machine here, the 10B, no, I'm not interested in selling that one right now. Uh, that's a pretty rare little piece, I guess. A lot of people have been interested in it. Selling the other 10B was relatively easy, even though the machine was in non-running condition. So that's what I've been up to, guys. Uh, maybe even today. Today's a good day. It's a bit overcast. It's nice outside. Maybe uh, if this video comes out all right, I'll go in and I'll view the footage and see if I can remember how to upload to YouTube since it's been so long that I've done it. Uh, maybe I'll start shooting the video where I start getting into the details of what it's like to buy a cable excavator and then start fixing and, and making repairs to it and you know, getting it in good running order. So uh, hopefully watch for those before too long. Uh, this is September of 2019. If I didn't say that at the beginning, uh, December 2016 will be three years since I've uploaded a video. So thanks for watching guys.